In this short video, I just wanted to show uh, the viewers how one could write a repeating uh, decimal as a fraction using a technique of geometric series here. So consider the rational number 1.87 repeated. So the 87 after the decimal will be repeated. So this is the number, of course, 1.878787, etc. Right? You just repeat this over and over again. And so if you take this number 1.87, well, it can be broken up into your whole number part one and your decimal part 8.7 repeated, which like we mentioned earlier, 8.7 repeated means 87878787 after the decimal place. And so every time that this thing repeats itself, we get one period, we're gonna separate that. So we're gonna get one, the whole number part, we're gonna get 0 0.87, 0 0.0087, 0 0 0.000087, did I say the right number of zeros? There should be four there. You're gonna get point zero 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 eight seven and then continue this on and so these each of these each of these right here are terminating decimals that is they stop after a while and we can just thus express them you're going to take the number here it always could be 87 on top but then you get powers of 100. why 100 well 100 is 10 squared and two here is the length of our period that's how often this thing repeats itself every two decimal places so we're going to get 1 plus 87 over powers of 100, which could be written as a series. 1 plus the sum, as where k ranges from 1 to infinity, of 87 over 100. Um, this right here, this is not just any series. This is a geometric series. Geometric series. And therefore, we can use our formula for a geometric series here. Now, when k equals 1, the first term, you're going to get 87 over 100. That's our first term right here. We're using the fact that this thing will look like a over one minus r, where a is the first term in the sequence and r is the constant ratio. The constant ratio is gonna be one over 100, that, and where 100 here is two squared, the length of the period. So you get 87 over 100 divided by one minus 100. One minus 100 will be 99 over 100. And then as you simplify this fraction, the 100s will actually cancel out and you'll end up with one plus 87 plus 99 over 99 which if you so choose, you can simplify that fraction. 87 over 99 becomes 29 over 33. There's a common factor of three between 87 and 99. And then writing this mixed number as an improper fraction, we get 62 over 33. And so using this geometric series formula, one could actually write any, uh, any repeating decimal as a rational number. We could find a specific fraction which gives us that repeating decimal.